How prepared was the government for the volcanic ash incident? One of the things that we looked at was how governments respond to emergency situations. We decided we'd look for a number of topics, swine flu, the volcanic ash issue, a cybersecurity attack, and the impact of solar flares. We weren't drilling down into the detail of the science. We were looking at the preparedness of government departments to deal with such an emergency and making sure that um, if an event did occur, structures were properly in place to um, mitigate the effect of the emergency. I think there was a gap because there was not a statistician member of SAGE. I was very impressed that although apparently uh, many of the members didn't have an, you know, a direct scientific background, their grasp of issues was really very astute. How evidence-based was the government's reasonable worst case scenario for swine flu? I think the broad thrust of the report uh, will be accept accepted and I'd be very surprised if there isn't a letter from the Minister confirming that government is on board with most of the recommendations we're making. The MPs are saying that scientists need to be closer to the heart of government and that governments of whatever colour need to listen to them more closely. I want to tell you about a new inquiry that our committee has launched into the governance of professional football clubs and to explain why we want your input. We're looking at the whole issue of the way in which football is run. The reason the inquiry came about is because there is a great deal of concern, particularly at the number of clubs that are suffering from high levels of debt. Many have uh, got huge financial problems. And the government itself had said at the election that it wanted to try and encourage more supporter involvement. And so our inquiry very much is what improvements could be made and how the government uh, can take forward its commitment that it made. Part of the plans were to redevelop the standard movement. Obviously, we're centred in Westminster, but I've always felt that it's important, if possible, that select committees should get out and visit other parts of the country, both so that we can demonstrate what we're about and also because you do get a different point of view. So we've come to Burnley, uh, which is a representative club in the Football League. What happens is it gets November, December in the last year of a contract. Yeah. Hmm. It's thinking they're saying, hey, just hang on it, you can walk away yeah. for nothing. Yeah. Our organisation, Supporters Direct, represents 170 supporters trusts who are interested in supporter involvement in football clubs, football governance, football finances. We've been campaigning on these issues for 10 years and the committee invited us to give oral evidence after we submitted our own written evidence and so it was our chance to get the fans' view over to the committee as they consider these issues. From a place perspective, would that be attractive or would it be uh, risky? Well, well, I think if you look at the current turnover, a large proportion of it is obviously made up in salaries. I thought their questions were with integrity, I thought they were with interest, I think they genuinely care about the game, they have a passion about football, which was very good, from grassroots to the very top of the game. I actually enjoyed it uh, immensely as an experience because if you're passionate about these issues, you've been given a platform to speak to some very important people who can make some pretty big decisions and it's your opportunity to make your point. It's all very well saying we want to leave it to the discipline of the club to manage its own risk. The record says that English football clubs collectively are pretty appalling judges of risk. You know, these are influential individuals and, and the fact that they are talking about this area it means that it's something that they consider to be important. We are going to be making recommendations to government. We've already had the sports minister say that he's waiting to see those before making up his mind what he should do. So I hope that they will prove very influential.